thousand hours of content that is created and published mostly in the wall gardens on a daily basis right and i don't think it'll be surprising for anyone to you know uh, come to the realization that we spend a fair amount of time as much as 4 or 5 hours a day watching this content right why do we watch it we watch it for entertainment for ideas for fun but have you ever thought about have you ever thought about how it is that you actually go about um, discovering this content think about it for a second right you pick up your device you unlock it uh, you either scroll through your phone or you search for a particular app you land on that app you open it then you either search for content or you keep scrolling for content maybe you like something maybe you don't uh, you might go to another app or you might you know stick on the same app and watch something that you like so how much time do you actually spend per piece of content a second a few seconds and think about this journey that you are taking to actually get to the content that you want to consume right what's 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 really great is that both uh, jain and uh, rajesh spoke about how uh, content is what is bringing the purpose to the consumer right it's a delivery mechanism so think about how this the, you know you the kind of effort you're making to actually get to this content so what if this journey could be simpler right what if this content the content that you like and you want to consume and that is of relevance to you could come to you in an easier fashion so in the current construct that's not really possible right because in the current construct you go through eight clicks swipes or more to get to the content that you like so there is a sort of reinvention or change in paradigm that is required right so hold on to that thought and think about what is the one destination that sort of stays with you through the day where you go to the most during a day the answer is pretty simple it's the lock screen of your device right um on an average and again think about it on an average people visit the lock screen of the device at least 50 times a day what do you do there you you know check for notifications you look at the time sometimes you use the camera but the reality is that you just look at the lock screen of your phone out of sheer habit right your phone is your constant companion and the lock screen is sort of the landing page on it so think so if we were to put these two together right what if you were able to do more with your lock screen what if you were able to get updates on the lock screen before you know any other app could give it to you what if the content that you have to you know click click and swipe to get to came to you on the lock screen what if you could watch a live concert on the lock screen what if you could shop what if you could play a game right and that ladies and gentlemen is what our purpose is at glance our purpose is to be able to deliver content of diverse formats in a visually rich and impactful manner on the lock screen of a device to our users right that is that is what we today at inmobi glance um are trying to create for our users um but i'm not going to spend too much time explaining what glance does what we'd like to do, do today is actually show you what glance is all about right so it's pretty straightforward every time you pick up your device there is a fresh piece of content that you see on your screen right and it's very easy to interact with this content you simply tap on the screen um and you can go inside you can then see more details of the content in this case there was an article page that popped up and you can read that article or shut it down if it doesn't interest you and continue to tap on the screen and go through multiple content pieces um so this then becomes your infinite scroll and this content is customized uh by us for you as per your preferences right so if you see the bottom right of the screen we currently publish content in seven different languages and 22 to 25 different categories and it's very easy for a user to select uh you know the categories that are of interest and relevance to him or her uh, but even if you are not selecting this we have an ai ml program that learns what you're engaging with what you're spending time on and then surfaces more of that content to you right now if you go back to the home screen you will see a live tab at the top 
Now, as an organization, um, we started playing with live uh, a few months ago. And um, we saw very, very encouraging results. Live as a platform is not new. YouTube has it. Facebook has it. Um, but our vision with live was to be able to create you know, recent and relevant content and bring it to the users on the lock screen of a device. So if you see our live tab, what you see is basically the programming that is available for the day. right? And if a show is live at that point, you can watch it there and then. Or alternatively, you can set reminders on your device to pick out content. So the entire journey continues to be seamless, because you simply uh, tap on Watch Live. And you can see um, the kind of content that's um, going on. Now, what's Live has worked really, really well for us. And I'll share a few examples of how. But one of the reasons Live content did brilliantly for us is that the entire experience allows for the user to actually become a part of the live, where he or she can join the creator, can interact with the creator, and you know, be far more engaged in the content that they're actually viewing. Right? We do live across multiple genres. While we started with gaming, and we're uh, very easily the top live gaming platform in the country. Um, but more and more, we're looking at other genres, like, for example, fashion, like, for example, food. And we're having a lot of fun with this content and getting a great response to that. Now, again, if we go back to the home screen, there are two other tabs at the bottom. Uh, the first one is the, uh, the shop tab, which we've launched very, very recently and are already seeing a fantastic response to that. Right? And all of this, if I can remind you, is happening on the lock screen of the device where you still haven't unlocked your phone. Right? So the shop tab basically, again, takes the live proposition forward and allows for social and uh, live-led shopping experiences. Right? So on the top, you can see different KOLs who, who are playing with different products and creating recommendations. If you just tap on that, um, it's, you know, the entire journey continues to be fairly simple. You, you tap on Shop Now, and then you can you know, simply enter your address, etc., and complete the purchase. So you can actually explore uh, brands and products by KOL recommendations. We also have live shopping experiences. And we've also created brand stores as well as category stores. Right? So there are different ways in which users can sort of discover what they like and complete their experiences. And very quickly, I'll walk you through a gaming tab. Right? And this, is, this has been huge for us today. There are about uh, 45 million people who play games on the lock screen on, uh, on a monthly basis. right? And we publish more than 100 games on the lock screen. And again, uh, live gaming as a construct is, is, is really, really big for us because it's allowing for well, you know, the current uh, trends around gaming to be available to a far larger section of audiences. right? So all of this is Glance. Um, and this is our purpose being able to create different kinds of content and to be able to bring this content to our users in a visually impactful and relevant manner. Right? So let's move on. Now, we started Glance about four years ago. Uh, and today, we're really, really proud to say that there are 189 million users who spend 25 minutes a day on Glance every day. Right? And this is really, really big for us, because it tells us the kind of value we are able to deliver to our users. Now, we spoke about you know, people are spending 25 minutes a day. But I just want to share with you some examples of what these people are actually doing on the lock screen. So we did this show with uh, Rajkumar Rao, uh, where he was taking challenges from the audiences. I did mention that a lot of live content is interactive and engaging. Right, so as he was taking these challenges from the audiences, he garnered a total of 690,000 uh, 690, views, which is 40,000 views more than the global Star Wars live stream on YouTube. That's saying something. We did a concert with uh, Shan and Mohit Chauhan, which garnered 2.2 million views, which is just 90,000 viewers lesser than the latest season of Coffee with Karan. That's where live is going. We did a gaming um, contest, which gathered about 2.7 million views, which is 1.3 million views higher than PlayStation's most viewed stream. So that is what Live and Glance are able to do 
in the market. That's the kind of impact and scale we are able to do by by simply creating avenues for content, which is you know easily and seamlessly discoverable. One of my favorite uh, sort of examples to share is uh, you know this session that we did with Shrikant, sorry Shrikant and Bhaji, where they actually made up on glance, ending a ten-year-long feud. And this, of course, went viral, and you know the media picked it up. But the lock screen is where content is now being created. So my question to you is: Why should you, as a brand or a marketer, consider this? And the answer is really, really straightforward. The first thing, I mean, this is the platform where you are allowing a user to discover your content seamlessly. No clicks, no search. The content. Is right there when, which is of relevance to a user when you pick up your device, right? So we are working with brands to create more and more experiences that sort of cash in on the user behavior of discovering content on the lock screen. And what I'd like to do is share a few examples of how some of our clients work with us to create these experiences. IPL needs no introduction, and um, we worked with. Uh, Disney to create one such experience, and our goal was really, really straightforward, which is that during the match times, we wanted users to be able to discover the score live and drive traffic to um, Hotstar. And so, the solution was really simple. We created these experience units, which allowed for users to discover the score. And while this was a brand campaign, we did exceedingly well. In terms of driving app downloads and also registrations for Disney, right? And this is this is again a fantastic example of how we are evaluating the organic need of the user to discover content. In this case, the match score, and be able for the brand publishing content which is of relevance at that time to the user, thereby driving, you know, marketing objectives. Another great campaign we did. Was with Upgrad, right? And um, the brief here was to be able to create um, some awareness for courses they had around data sciences. Um, and so we we came up with a very very um, well simple concept called the data science twist. And the whole content was anchored on Vikram Sathe, who looked at different sort of uh, statistics related to IPL, related to cricket. And we did this around um, IPL and cricket. And we looked at uh, player statistics, match statistics, uh, how different teams were performing, and we did 64 content pieces that were anchored in cricket and the love for cricket, but were using data to be able to draw, you know, very light, humorous, fun comparisons, right? And so this is another great example of how the brand's purpose and proposition came alive through content on glance. The next one. Is a great campaign. Um, we won eight awards for this, but I'd like to play the video. Um, do we have volume? <coughs> All right. So it doesn't seem like we have volume. So let me walk you through it. We um, were doing an integration for uh, Sprite on the Glance Game Center. And it was IPL led, and you know, so we created this game around cricket, and nothing is new and innovative about that except that it's on the lock screen. But I think the reason this campaign stood out very, very well is because the entire proposition was, you know, built on Sprite's purpose of being able to give clarity of thought and you know, being able to think afresh. And we brought that alive in the integration that we did on Glance, whereby we were, you know, we allowed the user. To reset with Sprite when he or she, when playing the game, was striking out, right? And it is this kind of an integration that brings the brand alive, that makes the user experience go to another level, and that reflects in the kind of metrics uh, and the uplifts we were able to deliver through this campaign. And the last thing I'll very quickly speak about is how, on in glance, we are focusing on creating experiences for brands. That are native to the user behavior on the platform, right? So we, uh, Swiggy is a client we work with all the time, and the entire pitch here is a. Uh, the entire pitch here is to be able to drive 
app installs and then subsequently orders and you know uh, repeat orders but in a very seamless fashion right and this is the user sort of experience and journey that they go through to achieve the same so with simple campaigns like this we were able to reduce customer acquisition cost by 30% and we were able to increase the value of uh, the transactions that we delivered by 29% right and these are just some examples so um in summary we would love to be able to work with your brands to bring alive their purpose to bring alive uh how this purpose is communicated to your audiences and you know i i i would really like to take questions but i'm told there's no time um so thank you so much for hearing me out and i'm available offline if there are any questions thank you Thank you very much. Thank you.